Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Emerald Jade and Ivy. Emerald Jade and Ivy, 91 speed, um, could be a really, really nice card. I do wish he could play point guard, man. If he could play PG, he would be a budget dog. Even a shooting guard, though, going to be a pretty fun, pretty good card. And I'm excited to try him out, see how good Jade and Ivy is looking like. Should be a really nice budget two guard. So before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards, I mean, technically the 13,000 subscriber mark, but basically 14K. We're like one or two subscribers away from 13K right now so really appreciate all the support on the channel grinding like crazy wasn't able to upload yesterday i did have a family emergency like i've said um and i apologize for that but things are going to be okay there and we're back on the grind so without further ado let's hop right into it see what jade Ivy is looking like so we got ourselves a six four shooting guard uh 83 offense 80 defense he could, if he could play point guard he'd be so nice but even on a uh, shooting guard he's not gonna be bad 82 driving layup 77 midi 73 three ball 80 driving dunk 86 ball handle 71 perimeter he doesn't play much defense at all 91 speed speed ball and excel and an 80 to lateral quickness what this card reminds me of is basically a better offensive marcus smart who doesn't play the same amount of defense but blow by and speed booster two of the best playmaking badges in the game also has silver fast twitch fearless finisher poster as and pick, pick dodger bronze precision dunker physical handles relay passer and triple strike interested to see what his release is looking like man because if he's got a nice release this is a really really good budget two guard but he would be he, i mean dude just thinking about how good this card a good card could have been if he could play the point guard position he'd be right there with guys like brandon roy as the best budget point guard in the game probably although that release is not amazing I will say it's it's hittable, but it's not certainly not amazing. I will say it's pretty fast, but I wouldn't say it's a great release by any means. Um, now, in terms of slashing, 91 speed, going to be a very very capable dunker. Six foot four gives him pretty good size. Um, I mean, it's not great at the two, but still six four will hold it down. It's good enough. Defensively, he's not going to do much, but this release is actually pretty nice on the catch and shoot. Should be pretty good. Let's see what his movement is looking like. Uh, oh, does he have a does he has a good dribble style? Hold up. Okay, so Jaden Ivy actually has a pretty good dribble style. This card is this card is actually pretty nice. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Jaden Ivey's like a legitimately solid option at the shooting guard position, uh, especially offensively. It Defensively, he's not great. I wish this play card could play the one man. He'd be right there with Brandon Roy. Like he really would, or Brandon Jennings. He really would be. He is a really, really nice looking budget card. Just unfortunately, he can't play point guard, but good ass card regardless. Pardon my language. Let's hop into a game. Let's see what Jaden Ivey can do. All right, get the ball in Jaden Ivey's hands. Let's see if we can create ourselves a shot. Being guarded by Matthew Dellavedova, so speaking of budget guards, he's another one. Jaden Ivey gets downhill and gets blocked by... Who is that? Is that Kevin Garnett? This dude's team is not very good. Um, I should not probably have too much struggle here, but uh, this first possession definitely has been a struggle. Pull up mid-range. I was just trying to fight my way into the mid-range. We did actually get into it, but I still missed the shot. So not the best start to the game by any means. We're going to switch this so we get ourselves a little bit more favorable matchup. Again, let's get a little more favorable matchups. Here we go. We switched all of our matchups, so now we're not completely getting killed. Um, good defense here. We're going to swing with Jaden Ivey out the corner, rotate back, and get blown by by... Is that... What even is that card? Is that a free agent Jordan Poole or something? I don't even know who that is. Uh, good defense by AD. Gets the board, and we push the ball out in transition. Sean Kemp running the floor, attacking the rim. Hit it over to Jaden Ivey. Jaden Ivey. Yo, why is Sean Kemp... That, why was that the worst screen I've ever seen in my life? Attacking downhill. Jaden Ivey, dump down, please to ad ad should get a layup here and he does beautiful all right we'll take the bucket uh finally getting on the board a little over a minute into the game not my best start it's okay though um pinch here we're good we're gonna play a slip roll good defense and i don't think this kg can shoot uh that shack that steph curry can shoot but we did step through the screen pretty well and he gets a putback animation that somehow is a 40 percent contested miss even though it was wide open that's pretty unfortunate Jaden ivy let's go coast to coast posterizer not coast to coast but running out in transition showing off that 91 speed beating everybody up the court for a standing dunk or a nice little driving dunk actually and uh, we're looking good so far so x switch this so we can get back to Giannis. hopefully now we help down now we're gonna sw we're gonna over swing here yep beautiful that's exactly what i wanted i'm shooting the three i'm shooting a four pointer i want a front run why did i do that just take your wide open dunk in transition i'm trying to bomb with a dude who's far from a shooter that's a better shot ish oh my goodness i greened it five percent good shot jade 90 73 three ball shooting the ball with confidence knocking it down that's not an easy shot and he hits it i like that it's good stuff right there cut off the dribble oh i didn't really cut off the dribble drive but sean kemp almost got a contest not quite though and unfortunately Puts us a little bit more into a hole. Okay, behind the back here. Let's attack. Uh, here for, see if we can hit our pop, pump fake. Now let's attack this way. Beautiful. Dump down to Sean Kemp. Sean Kemp with the pump fake, and we got to reset it. Uh, come set me a good screen here, please. Let's get through the screen. Damn, Matthew Vidalvado is playing defense this possession. Uh, I guess I'm going to take my shot with, Kurt, with Kyrie instead. Pull up mid-range. Kyrie knocks down a 40%, and we will take that. 
There we go. Good stuff. Still a lot on the board. That possession, not my best possession, but that is okay. We're going to see if we can actually get... See, let's see what Jaden Ivey can do defensively. Put him on Steph. Just make him a little bit harder of a matchup. See him do something on the defensive end. That, that 56% with Emerald Kevin Garnett's going in. What in the world is that? Um, he's hard off balling here. Let's make sure we just to try to... Oh, he's not hard off balling. He was hard off balling just a second ago, but Jaden Ivey. Good pass, Sean. K Yo, what in the load up was that? He got the slowest jump shot ever. It's a dude with a pretty good release, just getting a super slowed down one. Um, he's going to, I knew he was going to do that. And we give him a foul call, bro. This dude is so predictable, and yet it's worked the last couple of possessions. That's pretty frustrating, but honestly, Jay Ivey would be so much better if he could play point guard, bro, because he'd be like a legitimately pretty good budget point guard. At shooting guard, I don't think he's actually one of the top couple budget guys. Like, I think guys like Marcus Smart, who also would be absolutely exceptional if he like, could play point guard, by the way. But guys like that would be uh, better at the shooting guard position. Eh? Marcus Smart or Wesley Matthews or somebody like that, probably. But just because Jay Ivey isn't super big, um, doesn't have the best release in the world, and isn't like, he's not an insane level card, but he's a good card for an Emerald, especially. Um, this is a mismatch here a little bit. I don't think Steph's really going to be able to stay in front although he does a pretty good job dang I, you just can't run around a cpu this year like i have a speed advantage here i feel like i should be able to pretty much run around him but unless i get him into a screen like that like i got him into the screen a little bit and that time i'm able to get to the baseline and uh jaden ivy gets himself a dunk seven points two assists pretty good performance for jaden ivy he did it a tough three ball and he's gotten himself a couple of dunks as well a couple of assists he's doing a nice job on this game let's see if we can just come out here real wide real wide to pick this up and then is that a blocking foul uh it's a charge I mean, I guess I'll take it. I, I don't know if that's the right call, but I, I, I guess I'll take it, right? Um, let's get one more three ball, one more dunk, something like that with Jaden Ivey, and then we'll call it a gameplay. I'm actually just going to quick slip and see if we can get him a... Get him a alley-oop. Alley-oop dunk. Yes, sir. Timed it well as well. And Jaden Ivey throws down the dunk, giving him nine points and two assists. And overall, just a really, really solid performance by Emerald Jaden Ivey. Don't want this video to go on too long, and this game is pretty much decided. So let's hop back to the main menu. And let's give you this Jaden Ivey card. All right, in conclusion, the Emerald Jaden Ivey, very, very solid card. I mean, he's a good budget shooting guard. He's fast. He's a good slasher. And he can hit an open shot with a decent release. But wouldn't say he's an insane card. I think he's a pretty good one, but I don't think he's incredible. And I think he's a very, very solid option at the shooting guard position for a budget player. But overall, would be much better if he could play the point guard position. I feel like it would be a lot more viable for a lot more people's lineups if he could, unfortunately. But with that being said, still a solid card. Hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon and I appreciate y'all. Peace.